Talkstone. Indeed, it's time to talk. And we're going to talk today about potential new card types. I wanted to just go through your comments here and see what suggestions you made for potential card types. In other words, what might they do? What might the theme be? How would they work? Where would they live on the board? I think we could talk through all of that because we haven't seen a new card type since hero cards. And no, things like sigils are not card types. Those are just types of spells. They're all spells, right? Sigils and secrets and those sorts of things are spells. And no watch posts aren't new kinds of minions. They're just minions. Some, some of you wanted to argue with me about this, but there are two very clear indicators that new card types are card types. We have shapes of cards. Spells are always exactly like this. This card frame. Minions are this card frame. And... Uh, the other indicator is this right here, card type on the website. There's four, right? Weapons always have the weapon card frame, right? It's a circle. And uh, hero cards have the kind of triangle card type frame. So only four card types currently, but we're going to get new ones. So what might they look like? Who knows? Let's talk. Let's read through the comments and see. If you look what they've been doing lately, there are a lot of multi-turn or permanent spell effects, which are all kind of clogging up the spell type. It would make sense to clean that up by adding or splitting into new card types similar to sorceries or enchantments in magic i suspect a permanent spell type maybe board changing spells or a type spells perhaps capable of being overridden or affected by an opponent yeah i think that's that's very reasonable i was thinking too about these kind of board wide aura effects we've got objectives which are kind of like that in, in ultra valley right but they're fixed they're spells so going to be something distinct in the vein of objectives I think, you know, if I think back to Gwent, there were like weather type cards where you would like apply weather to a certain lane. You could do weather effects. I'm going to have some fog and that means all minions are stealthed. That might be too OP, you know, terrible example, but you get the idea. There's rain and that makes minions have lowered attack or something of that sort. Now, maybe it wouldn't be weather specifically, but, you know, magical enchantment instead of weather but maybe it lasts the entire game or has some kind of different visual indicator. But hopefully it's not actually just weather. That sounds kind of boring. <laughs> like, oh, it's rainy today, guys. Uh, it might be okay. I've always loved the idea of having a toolkit that allows you to have multiple hero powers and you can pick one from the one at the start of each turn. But the recent bug allows you to collect hero power cards from Rustwick's Death Rattle on Finley. I'm curious if that's going to be the new card type. I like the way they're using current bugs to suss out potential changes in the future. I'm having trouble envisioning exactly what they mean. Like you'd click the hero power button and maybe it'd like be discover a hero power. That to me feels a little bit too, just much like the rotating hero powers we already have for hero cards, like Brucon and Dr. Boom of old might be like, you'd always pick the same one. I feel like for many, many, many instances, the randomness of those kind of keep them in check from a power level standpoint. I like the idea of maybe a, a toolkit at the beginning of a game where you can pick in the mulligan a different hero power. Like if, if you run this card, it says like start of game, choose a new hero power. That could be a card type, but you'd only really have one of those in your deck, I guess. I would think, well, hero cards, you typically only have one. You're not allowed only one, but usually only one. Yeah, more like sideboard stuff, exactly what I mean. Maybe having hero power card types, it's kind of what hero cards are, if you think about it, right? You, you could maybe separate the hero power out from the hero card, but most of the time hero cards are just ways to get a new hero power. Obviously, a lot of them have powerful battle cries as well, but yeah, commander format for Magic the Gathering is something I don't know a lot about, but I could definitely envision a commander style card like a super legendary. Maybe it'd be called like a mythic card. It might even be a distinct rarity. Legendaries, you can run one, but what if there was an extra level of card where you could only run one of that rarity, like a mythic card where you can't have two mythics in your deck. You can only have one mythic card and it's like some kind of super legendary, a, a commander. It's like Sargeras and super insanely epic, awesome big characters. Uh, I don't know exactly how Commander works in Magic the Gathering. Feel free to look up the game format. But essentially, you like pick a legendary card and it becomes your commander and you like interact through that commander uh, as you play the game. I could envision something like that where you pick this permanent icon of your deck, this big, awesome character, Sargeras, and he like lives on the board permanently in some way. Hopefully, it would look visually distinct or feel different than, say, a dormant card like the Juggernaut being on your board, but perhaps similar in a lot of ways where... 
you play him and he becomes the thing. Or maybe he's there from the start of the game, even. Something like that might be uh, an interesting direction to go. I don't know how we spun off from this comment into that, but there you go. Uh, I can see them adding an accessory type card that does something with hero powers, whether that be buffs like wildfire or inspire type effects, or even temporarily replacing it like metamorphosis, have it slot over the top of the hero power itself like a weapon, but on the other side, it fit cleanly in the current UI, including on mobile, and it would also let them make equipment designs, namely for classes like rogue and warrior. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could see like trinkets or amulets some kind of equipment card that goes like over the top of your hero that adjusts your hero in some way i think cards like wildfire as they give an example is is in a way like that like wildfire is basically an amulet that you equip that says plus one damage to your hero power right but you could instead of having that as a one-time effect something that's visually represented in the game as a piece of equipment of one kind or another I'm, I'm hoping that they don't do stuff that just, like, everybody's envisioning these filling the same slots, right? Like, oh, it lives where the weapon lives, and it lives where the hero power lives. I'm hoping it's something beyond that, that it expands the game board in some way and, and develops more than what we currently have, as, as opposed to filling in the gaps on what we currently have or just overriding what we currently have. I would really hope it takes it up a notch and it feels new as opposed to a replacement of sorts. Uh, here you go. I could definitely see the new card types being equipment. So much of the WoW experience is gearing up your character, having slots for armor and trinkets that have passive effects could be a thing. Yes, that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. New card type guess is vehicles, says Adam in. You get a bunch of armor, a new hand of the same size with vehicle specific cards, a new hero power, and you're out of the vehicle either once the armor is depleted or you run out of cards in hand. That is really cool. It's something I think Ixar teased a little bit as well in a uh, previous AMA where he said like you would become in the vehicle and have its own dedicated abilities and stuff. Uh, that to me, I think was probably in reference to the juggernaut would be my guess. Like, I, I think that might've even been something he said, but uh, maybe they adapt that and perfected it and it becomes a new card type specifically. Some, some vehicle themed expansion. You get to kind of manipulate all that. And I like the way he's executed here. Like the armor representing the vehicles, pretty cool and simple. Makes sense. That pops you out of the vehicle, basically. That's a that's a cool idea. I think this is a pretty viable option. Oh, here we go. Year of the Titan would be pretty interesting. That would be so interesting. I would love it. Titan cards could be a type that plays like Planeswalkers and Magic and have some type of reusable ability function that costs mana. Yeah, like a, that, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. I thought that's kind of how Commanders worked, but apparently Planeswalkers are their own thing in Magic. I don't know about where you kind of plop it down and it's just there and you keep interacting through it like a second hero power almost once you've played the Titan card. Oh, that would actually be so sick. A Titan card for each class. There's not really quite enough Titans, I guess, but I'm sure we could figure that out. Mounts in general, they give your hero more actions per turn. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's possible too. We did get mount representative cards in Stormwind where they're like the mount is the buff and stuff and you know, Spiker's Seed has kind of done that, but not on a hero basis, more on a minion basis. It's funny, I did send a list. Hold up, where is that? I sent Raren a list of like, I don't know, 100 ideas, 50 video ideas, because he's been making these like uh, discussion style videos. I just had a bunch of ideas laying around, old ideas I'd, I'd cooked up for video topics. And one of them I sent him was 10 mechanics that need to be added to the game. Because I was thinking about like old Warcraft stuff that's in Warcraft, but not in Hearthstone. I listed mounts, cities, dual wielding, shields, which we kind of have shields already with like Bulwark of Azanoth graveyard bags so we have like the inventory management was always such a big deal in world of warcraft bags are kind of like you know in duels with the hand size stuff but those are the things i had in my initial list but a lot of these are, are popping up in other people's lists as well that's from literally years ago uh okay here we go rasmus says i'd be willing to bet that one of these card types is an artifact landmark enchantment amulet planeswalker type card my god that's a lot of <laughs> That's a lot of slashes. <laughs> Do these all belong together? A uh, permanent card that sticks on the battlefield, but without power or health, and then either disappears once a condition is met, like after a couple turns, or just stays forever like the Juggernaut. I mean, if it disappears after a couple turns, it's a lot like objectives already, right? The objectives we saw in in, uh, in Alltrack Valley, that's basically what they do. You play them, they're permanent for a few turns, and then they go away, right? Maybe they were a teaser or maybe they'd be something different. I, I don't know, but I think artifact or I think uh, objectives just fulfill that goal. 
New card types are going to add will be Titans. One of these tweets said a big character is coming for the last year. Whenever they've been teasing over the next corset, they've used words like big or huge. And a few sets ago during the card live reveal stream, one of the hosts made a very scripted feeling joke about what if a, what if a minion took up two spots on the board instead of one, which would definitely be a big and make sense for Titans. Yeah. If that's the case, maybe they play a similar role to Planeswalkers where they're like a super minion. That's what I teased earlier, like a super legendary. Yeah. I mean, I love Titans. I'd be cool for that. I've always thought they could mess with minion size as a factor. Similar thoughts here. They've had a hard limit on seven minions. What if they made those slots available in other resource? They could make a minion big and overstated, but it costs two spots. Yeah. Uh, this is good news, but I guess for new card types are specialization cards like Feral, Resto, Guardian, Balance for Druid, and Equipment, which could really make it feel like we're getting new classes without actually adding in new classes. That's intriguing. I don't know what that would look like. I do feel like spell schools have done that to some extent already. Say, like, for Druid, you know, if you're a Resto Druid, you've got a lot of nature spells. Although, that obviously can apply across all of those. But say maybe a balanced Druid is more about arcane spells. I think we've we've kind of scratched that itch a little bit. Maybe just not all the way. The problem is, I feel like a lot of these ideas everybody's talking about, and me too, I'm, I'm on the same weakness here. I feel like we're just restating things that minions and spells have already done well. I think we need to think bigger and like what could something be that's bigger and really different, but it's hard to envision things that are outside of our our experiences, right? It's like think of a new color you've never seen. You can't do it. Think of a new card type you've never seen. It's hard to think about. But then again, you know, maybe we've just been simulating these sorts of effects via cards and normal cards, spells and minions sort of poorly. And now that we have the opportunity to make them an official card type, maybe they will feel much more organic and natural as opposed to just simulated. Like, you know, the, for instance, the vehicle suggestion, that one to me is like really big and really different and feels like it would warrant a new card type. Whereas a lot of these just feel like they'd be spells that could say this game, minions have one negative one attack as opposed to why would that need to be a new card type, right? You could do that very easily with a spell. Whereas the vehicle feels so different and distinct and big that that does really feel like it would warrant being a new separate card type. Like, oh, these are vehicles. This is its own thing, right? Like, what if there's like a 3D modeled Titan that like smashed into your board and like destroyed a corner of the board and then he lived on the board, right? Like, you know, it kind of like you got the little characters on LOR and stuff, Ruin Terra, but it's a Titan. And then like, you know, every turn you can click the Titan button and he does some cool thing or something, right? Like that would be big and different and unique and would like kind of make it different than just say a dormant juggernaut that lives in a board space on your board, right? We've already seen that. We've already got that. Yeah, that would be like commanders. Exactly. I think it needs to be that big and different for me to feel like it's distinct enough to be a new card type. Now, maybe I've got my head too high in the sky here. That sounds hard and different and, and big. So maybe I'm just thinking too much about it. But a lot of the other ideas I'm hearing, it just sound like minions with extra steps or spells with extra steps oh what if you had like a merchant what if there's like a merchant card uh a card type that's a merchant and it's the same thing it's like you play the merchant card and then i don't know like you can spend mana to buy stuff from the merchant right like he every turn he restocks and you can buy a healing potion that heals six health or you can buy a minion if you need to in a pinch like a mercenary minion uh not mercenary you know what i mean like a a minion that fills in on your ranks that you're hiring a mercenary you can buy like a a damage potion or a poison potion like that'd be pretty sweet if you like set up shop on one of the corners of the board or even if it's just as simple as like discover every turn at the start of the turn buy something from your shop right that's the kind of stuff i'm thinking about where it feels really new and distinct I mean, yeah, I, one thing somebody said earlier, which I do think is sensible, is like, what if this is something that happens outside of the game more so? You think about like a Fizzlebang type card where you add it to your deck and you do something at the deck creation process because of this card type, right? It's a card type that has an effect on your entire deck somehow. That's kind of like start of game cards if you think about it. But maybe it's like a deck enchantment that says you can run two of a given legend of like choose a legendary. You can run two of that legendary or something of that sort where it's a deck enchantment. That could be a different idea, like a piece of equipment you equip that says your deck can now run three duplicate legendaries or your deck can have 40 cards or your deck only has to have 20 cards. Nobody would want 40. You don't want 20. But, you know, yeah, kind of like Fizzlebang is a minion, but he really isn't exactly. 
card type, like a deck modifier, a deck enchantment. Uh, well, I don't know what you'd call it, but that that's sort of an idea. I just it's so hard to envision, right? I, I keep coming back to like think of a new color and I can't think of a new color. That's how I feel about this. I don't know. There's a lot of good ideas there. Everybody says not great ideas. I'm glad we talked through those. I don't know if that's gonna be a good video or not. I feel like we didn't land anywhere, but I think the most likely outcome is some kind of commander type card, some unit that lives on board and has a repeatable effect or ability or something you can kind of tap into and spend some mana. I think some kind of equipment type thing. Um, I'm excited to see it regardless. I'm excited to see what what new card types might exist. Clearly, uh, there's a lot of open space to explore there and we're having a trouble envisioning it all. So hopefully something cool and awesome and new and really game changing comes along to to revitalize things a little bit. That'd be very welcome indeed. That said, I'm gonna hop off here, everybody. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you for the gifted subs and follows and bits and uh, kind words and all that great stuff. Let me drop a raid hey, before I go. Today. Thank you for the gift of subs Send you all on your and, uh, way kind to play some stuff. Let me drop a raid. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you for the gift of subs and follows and bits and kind words and all that great stuff. Let me drop a raid. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you for the gift of subs and follows and bits and kind words and all that great stuff. Let me drop a raid. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you for the gift of subs and follows and bits and kind words and all that great stuff. Let me drop a raid. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you for the gift of subs and follows and bits and kind words and all that great stuff. Let me drop a raid. Thanks uh, Let me drop a raid. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you for the gift of subs and follows and bits and ways. We're like one hundred thousand. Let me drop a raid. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you for the gift of subs and follows and bits and ways. We're like one hundred thousand. Let me drop a raid. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you for the gift. Sorry guys, I don't have my headset on. Sorry, sorry, sorry.